At 10 o'clock on the evening of December 16, 1941, the passenger ship SS Corregidor left the port of Manila, overloaded with passengers seeking to escape the Japanese invasion. She also carried a large shipment of ammunition and 2.95-inch mountain guns and support equipment, desperately needed by the forces in the southern Philippines. The SS Corregidor was the fastest inter-island passenger ship in the Philippines, and she would reach Cebu, her first port of call, in about 35 hours. But three short hours later, as the ship sailed through the minefield that protected Manila Bay, she hit a mine and sank in less than five minutes, carrying as many as 1,500 people to their death. The SS Corregidor had a long and distinguished history. She was originally the SS Engadine, an English Channel ferry that was converted at the start of World War I to the HMS Engadine, a seaplane tender that participated as the only seaplane carrier in the Battle of Jutland in 1916. One of her aircraft flew the first heavier-than-air mission during a naval battle. She was sold back to her original owners in 1919 and resumed her pre-war role. Engadine was sold in 1933 to a Philippine company, Compania Maritima, and renamed SS Corregidor. By the start of World War II, there were two Army-operated and one Navy-operated minefields, designed to stop all vessels except submarines and shallow draft surface craft from entering Manila Bay. There were 600 yards wide channels through each field for safe passage of friendly vessels. Captain Apollinar Calvo, the skipper of the SS Corregidor, was an experienced ship captain who had navigated the minefields a number of times. The SS Corregidor was scheduled to leave at midnight on the evening of December 16. But the ship was being flooded with hundreds of people from the southern islands, caught in Manila when war broke, rushing the gangplank in a desperate effort to get home. His passengers included many prominent people, and he was being pressured to get underway. Calvo also knew that Japanese aircraft had destroyed many targets in the port of Manila area and, fearing that his ship would be attacked, he wanted to be as far south as possible by sunrise. At 10 p.m., he finally decided to leave, well ahead of schedule. The gunboat Mindano spotted SS Corregidor as she approached the channels out of the bay. Since the ship had not been officially cleared to depart, the gunboat signaled the liner to stop, to no avail. The Mindano then continued with her patrol, while SS Corregidor sailed on into the minefield. Official reports do not mention any other boat except the Mindano being around the ill-fated ship. But some personal accounts say that PT-41 intercepted the SS Corregidor, repeatedly signaling her to stop, but getting no response. Observers on Corregidor Island spotted the liner steaming through the minefield and requested the Army Seaward Defense Command headquarters to set the mines on safe. According to several accounts, Colonel Paul Bunker, the Seaward Defense Commander, ordered that the mines remain active. Suddenly the SS Corregidor veered off course towards starboard and almost instantly, a tremendous explosion occurred on the aft starboard side of the liner. A warning light illuminated in Defense Command headquarters and all mines were set to safe. At Sissiman Cove on the Bataan Peninsula, Lt. John D. Bulkili, commander of Motor Torpedo Boat Squadron 3, sees and hears the explosion and immediately sends the PT-32, 34, and 35 boats to the scene. They join PT-41 in rescuing less than 300 survivors of the 1,200 people estimated to have been on the ship. Captain Calvo is not among the fortunate ones. No official investigation has ever been conducted, leaving many questions open, and there is still controversy over the player's actions in this tragic scenario. Why did the captain ignore the harbor security procedures? Why did he make a sudden turn while still in the minefield causing him to strike a 300-pound mine and send his ship to the bottom? Why didn't the army turn the mines to safe when they saw the ship enter the minefield? These and other questions are still debated 70 years after the sinking of the SS Corregidor.